Hello guys, in this video I am going to talk about 2D PCA or 2 dimensional principal component analysis. 2D PCA is a dimension reduction algorithm and I assumed you already watched my video on PCA otherwise it will be a little hard to follow this video so I provided link of PCA in description so you should watch that video first. So uh, in PCA we seen that for reduced dimensions of our data we have to find the direction of maximum variation. So the, that will be our first principal component and also we can call new basis. Means we are transferring, uh, transferring our old data to new coordinate system and that will be our new basis system. So we can find uh, our new basis by finding the direction of maximum variation and the direction in which first maximum variation that will be our first new basis and then next uh, direction which has comparatively uh, less variation okay so how can we find these new basis these new basis are founded by finding eigen vectors of the covariance matrix of image matrix so we founded the eigen vectors of the covariance matrix of the image matrix we created and in PCA for finding covariance matrix we used uh, SVD but uh, for uh, first we created image matrix this that was this was single image then we converted into a vector originally this image was n by n and the vector becomes n square cross 1 and its uh, matrix becomes n square cross t where t is total number of images so this was our original images matrix and we uh, finded its covariance matrix like this C, C11, C123, SA, like this and met our images matrix was n square cross t so our covariance matrix becomes n square cross n square so this was our process in uh, PCA but there are some problems with that it was very calculative because we are going to find uh, n square cross n square covariance matrix and not accurate to calculate covariance matrix and eigenvectors of covariance matrix for n square sized image matrix so this was problem with PCA so now we find it that solution in 2D PCA is based on a 2D image red matrix rather than 1D vector so the image matrix does not need to be transferred into vector prior to feature extraction means for create image matrix we first converted our original image into 1, 1D vector and then added all the vectors in this matrix so it becomes an uh, 1D matrix because we are converting uh, creating this matrix with the help of 1D images but in 2D PC we are not doing this we using a directly Im image so this was our image 1 image 2 and like image T and we are directly adding in this matrix like uh, stacks or we can say like pages of a book means first image is first page second image is second page and this matrix will be our T cross N cross N cross and means t is total number of images that will be size of this pile and n across n is the size of this single image so this will be our Im image matrix in case of 2d pca we are not converting it into a 1d vector we are directly using so this matrix will be also n cross n in size and its size will be pile size will be t so we can now uh, going to take these steps we are going to form image matrix of t cross n cross n that will be very easy then we are going to subtract mean of all images and cross n means we are going to find mean of these 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 all images we are going to add all the images and divide it by divide by t and that will be a single image means mean image and we are going to subtract that mean image from all the images so first we are going to form image matrix t cross n cross n we are going to subtract mean of all images that will be n cross n back, uh, matrix so we are going to find covariance matrix and we can find a covariance matrix of this matrix easily we are going to see uh, in next two slides how and after finding covariance matrix we are going to find uh, eigenvectors of that covariance matrix and those eigenvectors will be our new basis so then we can find new coordinates easily with our new basis so we can find covariance matrix very very easily using just this formula this is E uh, bracket a minus e a transpose into a minus e a here e is expected value mean here is expected value means first we are going to find mean of all the images and then we are going to subtract from image 
and we are going to multiply that image its transpose and into that image and we are going to sum that in all images all t images so this will be very very easy compared to uh, finding covariance matrix of n square size so after finding a covariance matrix using this formula that covariance matrix will be n cross n matrix and we can find eigenvectors of that covariance matrix very easily using a, a library of python so after finding um, eigenvectors eigenvectors will be like this n cross n and there will be also going to be n eigenvalues so you can see our eigenvectors will be our new basis means our first basis is this second is this so it is also n cross n and originally dimension of image is also n cross n so up to now our dimension not reduced but as we uh, know that eigenvalues shows how much variation in that direction means like we seen in like this slide this tells in which direction is maximum variation but this is our eigenvector and its eigenvalues tells how much variation in is that in direction so our eigenvalues are very useful so when uh, after finding this eigenvectors when we draw a graph for our eigenvalues we will see that our first two three eigenvalues are very large but then eigenvalues become very less less and after some time it will even become zero so we we our only uh, eigenvalues are useful which shows maximum variation so only first few are useful so dimension we are only going to choose first few like p and p is less less than n so dimension reduced from n to p so how we can find value of this p we can find very easily because sum of all eigenvalues will be s and that s will be all the information of our image matrix and we are going to conserve only 90% of information that original so we are going to uh, create a threshold sum which will be 90% of this sum s into 0.9 and we keep adding eigenvalues sorry this is my friend eigenvalues until sum reaches s into 0.9 so we can find value of p easily because we are going to find that sum value that p value by which we can uh, convert sum which is 90% of total sum and that will cover 90% of original information so after choosing only these few p vectors our uh, new coordinate axis will be n cross p vector okay now we can find new coordinates easily because our new basis is of n cross p and our original image is of t cross n cross n where n cross n is it, uh, its dimension and t is total number of images now we can easily find new coordinates using multiply m dot u so our image matrix t cross n cross n and u is n cross p so n n get com cancelled a uh, common so our new coordinates will be t cross n cross p so where t is total number of images and dimension of one image is n cross p which is less than n cross n because p is very very less than n so we uh, significantly reduce dimension of our original image to n cross p so that's all for this video in next video i'm going to tell what steps or procedure i'm going to follow to recognize face using 2dpca thank you for watching this video please like video and subscribe my channel thank you very much